Uh, and in a second, let me just do this. There you go. Hopefully now you'll be able to see me as well. Hello! Welcome back to Wild Realms here on Planet Zoo. I am, of course, M4J. And this week, hopefully... Let me just move my camera slightly. Also, I'm in the bottom left corner this time. Last time out, I was in the bottom right corner. This time, I'm in the bottom left. Uh, there's a reason behind it. It was to do with my stream yesterday on Football Manager. Something I noticed, so I thought, why not move me so you can actually see me? Um, and yeah, hopefully... As I said, you can hear me and see me. Once again, I'm kind of leaning on my little helpers here to uh, to let me know. Where are we at? There we go. Right. While I'm waiting for that, I might as well start the stream anyway. Got the lovely Planet Zoo music uh, playing in the background. What is going on with our animals? Multiple habitat or exhibit problems. Oh dear. So we got animals fighting. I think a way to fix that problem will be to um, to make sure that they are. Can I do it this way? I think I've tried this before, haven't I? I can move them in and out, but I can't. Or I can release them, but I can't give them contraceptives singularly uh, or collectively. Sorry, I have to do it singularly. Uh, Laura says she can see and hear me. Awesome stuff. I might be a bit flustered right now. I've literally just finished recording Transport Fever uh, for tomorrow. Um, I've had a busy, quiet day today. So, apologies in advance if I am all over the place. Where are the rest of our animals? Oh. I was going to say, where are the rest of our animals? Just going to make sure that the animals can't breed. I think that one had a disease. I hope. Otherwise, I don't think we've had a death. I think we're fine there. Um, so, yeah, uh, like I said, sorry if I'm uh, a little bit flustered and all over the place. Uh, I nearly delayed the start of this stream just to give myself a chance to... Oh, I can't actually do that with you because you're merely a child. Um, just to give myself a chance to get set up and sorted and everything. But I think I'm okay. Oh, you're expecting offspring. I'm still going to stick that on you after. And then we've got the reticulated giraffe... So I think you're unwell. I think that's the problem there. We'll sort out balance numbers and stuff in a little bit. We've still got stressed cheaters. Uh, I'm just going to delete all those notifications for now. There we go. So I want to focus on building stuff for now. And then we'll sort out animal welfare after. Um... Yeah, hopefully the lighting is okay. I've got the main light on. It's because there's a window right behind me. This is the only place really here that the desk fits. Otherwise, I would move it. And I'm really... That camera's bothering me as well because it doesn't feel like it's straight, even though I'm sure it is. Oh, I am getting asked if I can just do that. There we go. Hopefully the missus is happy now. Awesome. So today we're building an elephant enclosure. We're going to be building it over in this area here. So the main enclosure is going to come around this way. And I think the safari ride is going to go through it. But over here is going to be an elephant house. And then in this gap over here, we're going to have, uh, I think it was meerkats and... What was the other? There was another species that was going to go in here as well. Um... Can I close that a second? There we go. Meerkats and aardvarks. That was it. That was what we were going to put in here. So, I think we'll build the elephants first. And then we'll fill the rest of this gap in with... Um, or like whatever's left, basically, becomes meerkats and, uh, and aardvarks. So, I want to build like a little plaza here as well. With the enclosure kind of going around it. But the safari ride isn't going to go through the meerkats. It's going to go beside it. So there'll be a barrier here that comes round, And then it'll go around this way and so on and so forth. So if I get the path. Make sure it's at the right uh, width. And then we're going to kind of just build this around. Like so. Bit of a weird. Actually, can I do that again? 
pretty sure I can if I remove. Oops. Hang on, let's start. Start again. Start again. So if I use this as the grid, I can come off like that and like that. There we go. And now from this, I can build like a plaza shape. There we go. It's a little bit better. It's a little bit better. Right. Yeah, this is the area we're working with. Now the, uh, the elephant house is going to be kind of on a split level. So I want to... Oh yeah, this is something new as well. Flat into terrace. I just want to experiment with this. Look at that. Or... Make it bigger. And actually, that's going to be really useful for what I want to do today. So I want the, uh, the elephant enclosure. It's going to be relatively flat. If I just uh, keep undoing this. There we are. Um, we're going to flatten it to just this size for now. Um, but I want the pathway for the elephants to be raised up slightly. And I want the... Um, uh, so from here, there'll be like a walkway that will go in through a door. And then there'll be a lower level. And then there'll be a higher level where you can actually look down onto the elephants. The lower level will just sort of wrap around a little bit of the sides, if that makes sense. So I need to make sure... First of all, let's actually build the barriers for this. I think we're going to build them out of concrete, indoors at least, and then the rest of it will be um, something else. I'm just debating where to actually build this. Now, I need an angle snap on this. There we are. So we're going to build this out. I could probably build these sections longer, but I'm not going to. Now, actually, already I've um, I've goofed. So what what? It's kind of it's a chicken and egg thing right now because I need to place the paths next to the enclosure, but at the same time I need to build the enclosure uh, before I can place the paths. Is that did I mean? I think I said that right around. Uh, also, I need to make sure that I've got elephant. I believe there are yeah African savanna elephant that's the one now in terms of its enclosure it does actually have a water requirement so that'll be a first as well could actually put in some water for our beautiful animals 2100 ish 21 and a half hundred that's really bad 2151 square meter enclosure just for one adult that quickly rises I think we want four adult elephants and then we need a grade four habitat barrier of which the concrete wall is grade six so that's more than enough i do actually need the uh the height I do need it to be taller i can sort that out after um now there was something to do with is it this flat top and editable bottom or is it this one flat I think flat top and editable bottom is what I need right now, which sounds weird, but it, 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 yeah. Angle snap, that's fine. So length, I'm going to boost the length up to 12. And we need it to be, the path can get, needs to be able to get behind. So from here, it will come in and around. So like I've got to build like a U shape, a straight line U shape. For this so I think that and already I'm wrong let's go from this side shall we and then we'll come up now why can't I build that oh it's a post in the way that would explain it so I think like this and then on this back side one two three and I'm hoping I've got room for one more yep and then one two three so this is the uh, the elephant house itself and then outside of here we can be a bit more 
I'm going to build them straight right now. And then I think we'll come back and we'll, uh, we'll tweak this. So how big... I think if I do it like this. Like so. And then from this side. Basically do the same thing. Trying to see what I'm doing as I'm doing it. I think it was... Oh, it was back one. So from here it was like that. Like that. And... No. What I am is an idiot. Because it's, it's that. Then it's... That. Then it's that. And then it's that. There we go. And that's how you do it. Okay, so this is our enclosure. This is our elephant enclosure. Now the, uh, the barrier needs to be two meters tall, I believe that says. So if we select everything, so right now it is basically two meters tall, but we're going to we're going to bump it up. We're going to make it more like four, I think. There we go. We've got a zebra about to give birth. That's awesome. Now, all of this section here, including these bits, and uh, that's whatever I just did there. I didn't want to do. This, all the way around to this, is going to have glass in so that people can actually see into the... Uh, the elephants. However, I think hmm, I've had a thing in my head. Oh, good evening, Tom. How are you doing? It was this or the England Golf Awards. Ha! <laughs> Thank you. I think chose me over the Golf Awards. Now we could have some steel mesh around some of this as well. That would be good. In fact, some of this outdoorsy section over over this side. Would be good as mesh. Maybe like this bit and over to here. Like this. I think that's fine. We'll go with it. We'll see if it works. Now as for the airlock. I want the airlock to go on this side here and then on this side over there like that perfect now the water for the elephants I think is going to be in this area here but I do want to lower this bit down um, a little bit flatten to terrace maybe like level 4 Something like this, maybe? I have no idea, actually, anymore. I had a I had a really good idea in my head, but then I kind of went against it when I said the split-level elephant house. So, hopefully this, uh, this does work out still. Also, the day-night cycle is messing with my um, lighting here. Being able to see what I'm doing. Now, it does look like... Yeah, it does look like the uh, the enclosure barrier is actually prevented from... Like, if I lower the land here, it doesn't affect it, which is good. So, in which case, I'm going to come in a little bit lower. I think. Doesn't seem to have done anything. Oh, there we go. Yeah, that's, that's, that's too low. Try that again, shall we? I think the problem is it actually does it from the uh, the level that you're on. Maybe. Or maybe not, actually. So if I do it now to level 6... Oh, maybe it does do it from the one you're on. Ha! <laughs> I don't know what's going on. 
this is fine. It's absolutely fine. This is it's good. It's good terrain development here. It's fine. Okay, we're going to smooth this bit. So first of all, this section here is going to be flattened back to its original foundation level, like so. And then we're going to get the flattened to surface. So from here to here. I wish there was a, a way of doing this actually where I could just specify from this point to this point flatten it. Because that is actually perfect. It's very rare that I get it right first time so I'm quite happy with that. Uh, and then I want smooth tool. Let's come in and tidy this all up a little bit. Cool. And then, yeah, the water. Uh, so, what else have we got? Do we have, like, a hippos, a thing? In this? Or are they... Yeah, we've got hippos. Obviously native to Africa. So, they have a huge water requirement. So, we could potentially put the hippos next to the elephants. And then we share... A single water source and have like a huge body of water or we could do what I originally wanted to do which is put the hippos down there actually by the um, the lake and have them actually sit in the lake that's a better idea I like that one more so I think we're gonna do that I'm also before I forget going to extend the uh, the ride track here over to the elephant enclosure so we're gonna make it go like this and then we're gonna straighten it up like so and then we should be able to build like that here we are we'll come back to that bit in a second as for um, zookeeper entrance I think I'm gonna put it here or maybe the other side actually Maybe over here. I need the uh, the pathway to be on the outside, obviously. If I can get it as close to there as possible. There we go. So this now should be a habitat. And is. Sweet. So you're going to be elephants. Good stuff stuff um what else then do i need to worry about so the pathway is going to come around here like this i think we'll place that down now or do i want to build the building first actually how big is this that's something else i was going to check so terrain wise oh this is huge we got more than enough room for the elephants we want fantastic so i kind of need to build everything first before i put the elephants in which is not a bad thing necessarily but can I can you build onto an enclosure no so I'm gonna have to like line it up what am I doing construction that's what I'm looking for architecture walls uh, wall pieces and then I want it to be so theme needs to be African but here you only get the wood pieces and the mud pieces and I don't want those I'm gonna I want something a bit more modern so glass and do we have concrete I don't think we have concrete could go with metal and stone I think those are the ones we're gonna have to work with right now there you go concrete Concrete wall panel. So, concrete wall, which is four meters tall, which should be the same height as this. Hopefully. So if I build this along, like so, uh, we are going to have an upstairs to this still. Now, is this all on the same level? It looks like it is. The good news is the barrier 
here seems to be on the same uh, whoops, same grid, I think. God, I hope so. If this whole building ends up being slightly wonky, I'm going to be very annoyed. As so far, so good. It seems okay. Oh God, the inspector's just left. I'm going to get an absolute bollocking from him, I'm sure. For want of a better term. Okay, so that's all connected. Now, if I was to build... So yeah, it does just go in like that. And I don't think I'm quite on the grid. You can see how the, the concrete wall piece there is moving. So I will fix that quickly. Uh, advanced move. Now this could be a huge risk. So effectively I need to rotate it ever so slightly clockwise. Like the tiniest amount. That maybe? That does look like it fits now. And then it needs to come ever so slightly to the right. Okay. Good stuff. So yeah, this is um, this is the foundation for our elephant house. Now, obviously, we need to build a slightly grander entrance than the one we've currently got. Uh, so the th temptation is actually to edit this again. All of this here, I want to swap for this. I don't think it let me do. I thought on this game if you selected something you could then click a different material and it would replace it. Maybe I got that wrong. I'm sure Planet Coaster let you do that. So I think if we have place this wall down again. So this is the wall that's public facing so I want it to be quite grander looking than uh, the rest of the building. Like so. Now, do we have... Is that door... Ah, oh, there you go. This is the one I was looking for. So we'll put a doorway in. Actually, I don't like that. I don't like that. I think this... would look better and then you've got one one in one out kind of thing I don't even know if that looks better to be honest I could actually how about how about if I make the uh, the entrance over here like this That, I think, works better. I think that does work better. Where I'm going to put the stairs to get up to the top level is probably going to be over here. So at this point here, it will break off. And I might even... Actually, I could extend this whole thing out by one and put the stairs over here. I'll uh, I'll worry about that in a second as well. That'll, that'll be fine. Now, what have we got in terms of glass pieces? Also, we've got, like, rustic stone, but that is European, so we will stick that in the European section. Um, we've got, like, this. Which actually looks kind of cool. If I was to build this like this, and then put another one... Uh, duplicate, there we go. Put one there and another one there. How would this look as a design? That's not bad, actually. If I do say so myself, that is not bad. And then we can get all of this and duplicate it. 
and stick it on top. I think that will be the entrance. Like that's the public facing part of our elephant house. I think that looks pretty damn cool myself. I don't know what you guys think. Maybe these bits here will swap, swap out with metal. What else have we got? So there's... There's black versions which are curved. Do we have non-curved ones? I don't think we do. There's limestone as well. Sandstone. That could work better actually for um, the bottom floor. I don't know though. I kind of like the uh, to, to sound like a, a an absolute moron for a second. I like the uh, the bright colours of this. Sound like an interior designer, you know? Like, oh yes, I really do like the 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 lighter colours. Really makes much more sense. And we got ramps. Ooh, that would be cool. Over, if I was able to get the elephants to walk up and down a ramp. That'd be really cool. Maybe I'll put them on the inside. Like, if I was to lower the terrain down a little bit more, we can have ramps around the... I don't know. That might be... That's for future me to worry about. For the time being... I t Do I try this out and see what it looks like? Let's just turn the these into this. Problem with that then is I would have to convert that as well. I'm going to leave it as it was. And then we're going to stick metal on the top. What have we got that looks good? Oh, there you go. I was looking for the 4 meter piece. I couldn't find it. First of all, we're not making it blue. I was about to say, where do you repaint it? Let's go with a similar colour. It's a shame you can't, like, eyedropper it. Or maybe you can. No, you can't. That's fine. We'll go with this. And that will go there and there. And I think we are going to need another floor on top. Which is fine. We'll go with this. Like so. And like so. Now this bit here is probably going to be that as well maybe this section here I think I'm just gonna put a flat roof on it oh do you know what I could do just had a thought so the elephant house at London Zoo the architect who designed it also designed believe it or not um, one of the student union bars uh, at my old university University of Hertfordshire which was called the Ella House, which is a very nice place. I do recommend it, assuming it's still the same as it was, uh, was it four years ago when I graduated? Uh, Dave, is it Bak Bakhtra? Batra? Can you combine it with more animals? Well, the plan is to put more animals everywhere. Uh, sadly, elephant... Actually, do you know what? That's actually put a very good idea in my head. So elephant houses don't necessarily have to be restricted just to, uh, to elephants, of course. So we could split this enclosure in half and put something else in here as well that people can come in and look at. And one thing we haven't got, or one thing we have got, ooh, okay. Uh, I was going to suggest something, but I don't think it would work for, for this. I was going to suggest we put something here for the rhinos to be able to get in and out as well. But that would mean having to link across here. And here's where the meerkats are supposed to be. So that that might not work. But I like the idea of having more than just elephants in here. Not in the same enclosure, obviously. They'll have to be in separate enclosures. But I do like that idea. Because this is quite big for an elephant house. So I think we can split this. Uh, if I exit out this. I think we can split this in half. And if we put another zookeeper entrance over here... That would work really well. So we could put a barrier down here. Only if you're willing to build a larger and wider enclosure. Well, so right now, if I check out my trusty Zoopedia again. Uh, we got elephant. 
was I talking about just now? I've actually completely forgotten what I was talking about just now. Probably means it wasn't very important. So I want four adult elephants, which means I need 4,152 square meters. And right now we have uh, uh, 8,000. So we got double what we need, basically. So I'm not going to cut this exactly down the middle. Um, I think what I'm going to do is maybe come along straight down here. So we'll split the, the house. Actually, ugh. what are we going to put in here, though? That's the other question. Because that's... That's dependent. Could go with Wildebeest. Wildebeest do share with quite a lot of things. Including sable antelopes. One male and one female should be enough for the African elephant since the animal is huge. That's true. That is true. Maybe two females and a male. Just for reasons. I mean, we could put... It would be cool if it told you if you already had it as well. Or am I missing something? Natural habitat. So you need... You actually need quite a lot. So I think that's too much to go in here. I kind of want something that can live a little more within its means. We have rhinos, right? Do we have rhinos? If we don't have rhinos... That's the Gems bulk mark. So we definitely couldn't do that rhino idea if they are over here. Uh, yeah, we do have rhinos. So that's not going to work either. Do I really only have one rhino? Huh. In that case, I'm tempted to move the rhinos over. We could have the rhinos and the elephants both over here. Not in the same enclosure. I will keep making that clear. Not in the same enclosure. We will separate them. I will do that now. So, here. Uh, ah, question. How do I actually split an enclosure from the existing... Careful if you put in the males, they might fight despite their being social animals. Yeah, I'm discovering that with everything else right now. The zoo is more of a, a battlefield than, uh, than anything else. Maybe, hang on, if I remove the... Uh, zookeeper bit if I remove that as well oh that's definitely dehabitated this part now cool see so yeah, if I connect you up that's fine and then if we go from here how do I what's this oh that's the uh, editing the bottom don't need to worry about that rhinos are solitary animals one male and female should be enough okay are we going with rhinos? I I really don't know. So these are all animals that are native to Africa. I kind of want something that's that's big enough to, to be in an in, in a shared building with an elephant. That's my my justification right now. So I'm I'm reckoning I'm reckoning it has to be a rhino. That's my that's my reckoning. So yeah, how do I um how do I add oops how do I add to this? Like if I was to select this and build outwards this way, is it possible to do that or is that something that I can't do? Because there's no there's no grid to line this up with. Any ideas, Dave? Could just do it like this. Yeah, we'll have to fix this as well, of course. And then we could go with a perfect. I didn't right click there, I don't know why it's done that. We go with a perfect 50 50 split. I don't know why it keeps doing this. Uh, or I could bring it around. No, because we, we need people to actually be able to see the rhinos as well. So maybe if I come this way. And kind of do it like that. Um, and then. So 
this piece all the way over to this piece needs to be lifted. Again, it was what, 3.99? Or just do it exactly on 4, there you go. It's very rare that I get a measurement like that, correct? And then we'll make this... Oh, that's the other point. Um, what grade? I'm pretty sure rhinos need grade 6, don't they? Oh no, they need grade 4 too. Okay. Aardvark, African Buffalo, Zebra, Giraffes, Meerkats, Sable Antelope, Springboks, Gazelle, Nyala, Warthogs can be combined with their African... Really? That is not what I saw. Oh, it doesn't benefit. Okay, so it can still be done, but it just won't benefit it. I mean, I could, if... If the elephants and the rhinos can share a, an enclosure, then I'll do that. But I'm not. I'm thinking they can't. So it made more sense to do this. But then again, this looks stupid. This bit. So I kind of want to delete this bit and do it again. Because I need people to be able to see both species. Um. Unless I put the rhinos on this side and the elephants at the back. That's a possibility. In which case, I'll bring it round a bit more like this. Oh, another cheetah's about to die. Lovely. Gamba, your time is up, I'm afraid. Oh, God, I hate it so much. Ah, oh, Gamba. There's a way of... Um, where are we? Over here, and... What am I looking for? I oh, know, memorials. That's what I'm looking for. Favourite you as well. So that's like our original... Wait a minute. That's a different cheetah. Our first cheetah that died was Kessia, was it not? I put her plaque. Over here? Yeah, Kessia. So why has it got a different name? Cambo. Who the hell's Cambo? Okay, game. Cool thing, game. Cool thing. It's fine. Oh, also, I'll come back and finish this building at some point as well. That's less of a priority right now. Uh, so, yeah, elephant house, rhino house. We could put the rhinos at the front, or we could put something else here at the front, and then the elephants at the back. Put the warthogs in here, maybe. Combine them, split them, whatever it might be. I don't know. I want to finish this building first, though. Especially as I've kind of built it a little too big on one side and too short on the other. But that's fine. We can fix that by grabbing these. Duplicate. And you now go there. Oops. Got some young'uns coming as well. Is that young ostrich? I got laughed at. Was it week one? No, uh, week two, sorry. When baby ostrich came along. Because I was, just found it adorably cute. Which isn't like me, so. They, they are cute, though. They are, like, ostriches are the spawn of Satan. But the little ones are, are very cute. But yeah, I was going to go and, on Google and look up the elephant house at London Zoo and design it based on that. But I don't know if that's... Let's have a look. London Zoo elephant house. That's like a big... Yeah, it's a big weird shaped building. It's got like pointy roofs and stuff. 
We could do it though. We could do it. Like right now, this is very blocky looking, but we can definitely shake it up a little bit more. It's like a concrete looking building. Hmm. I'm actually tempted to, to go ahead with that, you know. Also, this needs to be um, broken up a little bit more. So what have we got over here? Your breeze block. So I kind of want you in place like this. But not there, actually. That's a stupid place for it. Where are we at? Maybe here? Like, do we want one way in and out? Or do we want more than one way in and out? I'm actually a bit confused by that too. I'm confused by a lot of things right now. I also don't want this to be a... Uh, like a, a normal... I mean, that, that could work. Normal entrance. I, I will finish my sentences at some point as well, I promise. Thing is, if I, hmm, yeah, if I built this raised, then I haven't got anything that can fill that gap, have I? Oh, that does. Okay, that could work. I forgot wildebeest too. Haha. <laughs> so, uh, were you saying that I should put the rhinos in with the um, the elephants? Is that what you were getting at there? Because I could probably, I could probably do that. would help if I place that correctly as well. So this this wall here is probably going to be gotten rid of, to be honest. Also, that f that's not in the center. So this building is still on the wonk. Unless that's... Actually, that's probably the wonky bit. Looking at it. Because I think over here... I think over here that's pretty straight. I think that's pretty straight, so it's not this bit. I'm I'm gonna do what every good workman does and blame blame something else other than himself. I reckon this as an entrance way for whoops, you were on the right level. I reckon that as an entrance way for the elephants or the rhinos, whatever these are. And then uh, I need to grab, wait, is this concrete? Oh, that's concrete. Yeah, we don't want that. It's probably easier if I just did this, duplicate, stick it there, shift it up one. Or do I just want to make it out of metal? I probably just want to make this bit out of metal as well. Concrete could work. Um, where's metal? Metal's there. Yeah, that's what I'm looking for. And then we'll spin you around and we'll shift you up as well. There we go. And then if I grab this little bit. What level are you on right now? There we go. That fills that gap and then we can put this bit in. Why did you build a cage inside the house? Is it for the guests? So yeah, the guests will walk in around this bit. And then there'll be a set of stairs somewhere that will go up to a higher level where they can stand and look down into the uh, enclosure. That's the plan anyway. Hopefully that's, that's how it works out. I might just leave that, you know, and have it as an overhang. It kind of looks cool. Say it's a quirk of the building, you know. Sure. Sure. So this bit. What do I want this bit to do? <laughs> it's that question as well. What do I what do I actually want this to achieve? Because I think what I've done here is build out a little too far for the little terraforming that I've done here. 
I mean, this does look cool. Can I turn off... Hang on a second. Or actually, hang on. Other idea is just... Where's my... I heard it click then, but there's no light. There it is. Could just use this. Or I could just turn off day night. Which I believe you can do. Uh, game. Maybe you can't do it. Oh, you can do it from here, can't you? There we go. Does this get it running again? Probably. Atmospheric conditions, that's fine. I believe the game's unpaused. People are walking around. Yeah. I think you should pause the game while building the house and to avoid the protesters. Fair enough. Fair enough. Do you know what? The other thing I've not even looked at yet is um, roof pieces for this. Oh, we've actually got pretty nice roof pieces. We could build some clock towers and stuff. We could say that the elephant house was one of the first buildings built. And that's why it looks a bit like this, you know? Aha! Now, if we've got... Does that fit? That one doesn't, but I'm sure there will be one that does. There it is. Perfect. So this could be a way for guests to look out into the uh, the meerkats as well from inside the elephant house. I'll do my best to actually make that look good. I kind of want a floor in this level as well and also like a concrete floor for the elephants to stand on. I'm sure that's doable. Well, that was nice. The sun reflecting off the, uh, the glass there, which is weird because there's no sun. This... Uh, this game sometimes it's it's still just it has that little you know little nuance okay what am i doing we got this roof which i think would also look cool maybe on this bit um so after i've built the elephants like actually got the elephants in and the and all the rhinos or whatever else is going in this section I want to put meerkats and aardvarks in this little bit down here for people to come look at as well. Uh, and saying that, I don't even know what's going in this area yet. This could probably be like open walkway. I think another enclosure here with a pathway coming around this way so guests can come and look at what's over here. That sounds good to me. I don't really know what I'm doing with these right now. I'm going to go back to walls. That's not walls. That's walls. And try and get this done. So for this, uh, I think I'm going to curve first of all this piece. So I'm going to copy this. Except you're going to be concrete. Or breeze block? Concrete. It's concrete, isn't it, we're using? Yeah, we're using concrete. So this needs to be concrete. There we are. Cool stuff. I think I'll paint the uh, the building as well to blend it into the African theme a little bit more. Because right now it looks a bit hit and miss. You could combine all African grassland. Well, that's kind of what we've done over here. So this enclosure, um, we've got buffaloes, ostrich, zebra, giraffe, and rhinos. And this is the African plains section. So guests can come up on this bit here and look out across the... Uh, it was meant to be the same height as the giraffes. I grossly overestimated how tall a giraffe is. So I might, at some point, knock this down a little bit and use that as a guide. Mind you, these are the these are the reticulated giraffes, right? So they're I'm assuming by that it means it's not they're not as tall as say other giraffes. But still, this is um, the plains area, which I love actually. The more I look at it, the more I fall in love with it. 
And then we got Gemsbok next to it. Cheetahs, which were our very first species, are over here. We have got some exhibits as well um, over here. But I'm going to move those and put them in their own dedicated area. We've got the Cheatery, which is the restaurant. Really bad pun. We've got a quarantine area over here that's never actually been used because I don't quite know how the, how to use quarantines yet. And then we've got the gift shop and the safari ride. The safari ride exits into the gift shop. And there will be some kind of exhibit or something over here as well that people walk around. It might just be, you know, empty buildings themed to like safari outposts, that kind of thing. Uh, and I think hippos and crocodiles will be down in this area. And then we've got the rest of the park after. Not got lions yet. Lions are going up on this area here, this top bit. This is going to be Pride Rock. Um, and we're going to have it so that hopefully, maybe from this area actually, we'll move these vets buildings and stuff. There'll be a path that goes into the rock face and turns into a tunnel that then emerges in the center of the lion enclosure. I think that's a good idea as well. Because you don't see... All the zoos I've been to, you don't really see any that have lion enclosures where you actually walk like underneath the lions and then up into the uh, the enclosure. I'm not saying they go in with the lions, by the way. I mean like there'll be a ring in the center of the enclosure that's safe for the guests to stand in. Otherwise, that would be, I mean, what a zoo that would be if you <laughs> walk up out of a tunnel and there's just a lion sat next to you. I would definitely break myself if that was the case. Hippos and flamingos. Well, there you go. We'll put some hippos and flamingos together then. That sounds awesome. Right. That's the doorway for our elephants. I still don't know what I'm putting in this bit. I want it to be something good, but I don't know what. Any suggestions at this point would be great, graciously accepted. Uh, I've done this wrong. I was meant to just select these pieces. There we go. Are there any pieces that look like doors? So you've got these, which... No. I think I'm in planet coaster mode. Where you can have... So it's these ones, obviously, that look like doors. But that's not what I mean. Also, that doesn't touch the ground because of the way the land slopes away. So I'm going to have to come in and fill in those gaps. And I feel like this here, this barrier, should be concrete rather than mesh. Especially as it's going through a wall. Don't you think? You're planning a pride rock. That's my idea, too. <laughs> it's so hard, like... I, it's been a long time since I've seen The Lion King, but it's so hard to, to say Pride Rock and not think of The Lion King. So it makes sense to just have it for lions, you know? Makes perfect sense when you say it like that. Um, but yeah, that's, that's my plan. The Spotted Hyenas enclosure should be an elephant graveyard or badlands. Also from The Lion King. I think the hyenas are going to go... So again, you've got... This is a, another Lion King reference. You'll have Pride Rock at the top, and then maybe in this area at the bottom, you'll have the hyenas, because they live in the valley beneath, don't they? So I think it should be something like that. Also, uh, yeah, I think this is this is pretty good for, for an enclosure. What I might do, in fact, rather than have the elephants and the whatever else step down into the enclosure, I might just have... I know it's really bland and really boring, but I think I might just have a generic concrete floor on the base here. So if I come over this way and drop that down like so, I think this would be what they stand on when they're inside the habitat. Hippopotamus, greater flamingos, and Nile... Is it Lekwe? 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 So I'll combine all those together down by the water side then. That can be like the African wetlands. Oh, I need to get the wetlands DLC. That came out... What were we on? Last week? I think that was it the 15th that came out. I haven't bought that yet. I've been going slowly with the old DLC because I didn't want to overindulge too early. Yeah, 
this this looks all right again it's not exciting but elephant houses aren't supposed to be exciting like this bit isn't supposed to be exciting this bit's supposed to be boring and stupid so I'm fine with that is this facing the right way no I think it's this one I need yeah and then this one maybe for this side I think that's fine nice okay so far so good I actually do think this building is way too big for this <laughs> Maybe we'll just have two lots of elephants. That uh, Whipsnade has that. They have sort of elephant houses split into two. And they can separate them if they need to. So I might just do that. Every now and then we'll combine them and then we'll split them up again. That could work. Maybe put the males in one side and the female females in the other. And then we can have... I actually know because you need a certain number of males and females per side, don't you? So that wouldn't work. I will find a way to make this work. Uh, the concrete is for elephants. Is this the part where you tell me that they're not going to like it and I'm going to have to rebuild it? Because that would definitely... That would definitely be typ typical M4J if that's the case. There we go. Waiting for the confirmation on that last bit, but I think this actually looks all right. What is... Okay, got a bit of a terrain thing going on here, but that's fine. I don't know what I'm going to do with the floor here. The plan is to try and fill this building up with pathways so you wouldn't even see it. Uh, yeah, I've, I'm playing on Steam. Playing on PC on Steam, so when I get the DLC, it'll be through Steam. I'm actually really tempted just to get two lots of elephants. Maybe even just remove this central... Ah, uh, I've had an idea. I've had an idea. What if... I removed all of this. That's not the right button. That's the right button. And then um, this bit we turn into a concrete wall. And we just have this as one huge elephant enclosure again. Yeah, so we'll have one male. And then all the others will be female. Now, I need to shorten this section. Either that or we just have a doorway here as well. Like that. So they can get from one side to the other. That also works. This does just, it feels massive. It really feels massive, but it could, it could still be fine. I'm really uneasy on this in many ways. I think the building itself does need to come up a little bit. Mainly so that when, um, I, I don't really know what I'm saying right now. I want the pathway to not be sat on the ground, really. So maybe if I just bump it up a little bit and then put another concrete floor in at a slightly raised level for the pathway. But then I want the pathway to be on the ground, if that makes sense. So I want it to be like... Uh, if I make you size 4. I think that. And then align to grid. What are you... Oh. You're actually obstructed by that. In that case, we'll go this side as close as we can. Which is there. What are you obstructed by? Oh, you're not... Okay, so you're on the grid, but you're not perfectly on the grid. And that's actually very frustrating. Here's a question. So if I build you like here. Right, that works. But that doesn't. Is it because of the post? Is it that that's too close? It is, isn't it? 
Oh, you've no idea how annoying that is. I've literally built this entire building around the idea of that. And now it doesn't even fit. Also... Is that straight? Com compared to that? Or is that... Like, is that a straight line? Or is it getting further away? I think it's getting further away. Which means this building is also now going to be... Yeah. Oh, it's... That's... That's very irritating. I hate paths in this game. I hate paths in all the planet games. Because again, you don't fit. You also don't fit. Oh, man. Okay. I'm going to work backwards now then. I'm actually going to remove... Like, all of this enclosure. Because I've got the... Um, the essentials in place now. Which is fine. So, path-wise, I'm going to continue building this. So, you know what I said before? It's chicken and egg. Oh, that's the terrain that's the problem here. Okay. Fix that then. Um, what I said before with it, it's chicken and egg. So I placed the enclosure. Now I've done the building. Now I can come back and um, like redo the enclosure once I've placed the path. Seriously? I didn't even see the terrain here was uneven. Is it because of this bit where it drops down? I bet it is. Okay. It's fine. I'm just going to keep checking this as I go along. There we go. If I can get to the end, perfect. Lovely. And then we'll do that bit and that bit. The entrance will come in from here, which is fine. Um, I might do little pathways in there so people can step in and maybe just these two actually so they can step in and look at the meerkats. Don't know what's going to go on this one. We'll work that out later. Now, if I grab this building, I just need to move it. So we'll rotate it slightly first. think oh is there a way to do like finite movement is it if you hold shift or something or control oh there you go i think that's what i want and then we'll move the whole building this way slightly so that that pathway doesn't stick through the wall and the rest of it is actually a-okay perfect Right, final piece of the puzzle, barriers. So I'm going to do what I did before, which is concrete. And we're going to start at this corner. Can I make it four meters instead of two? It's really stupid. Like, I know two meters is the, um, the requirement. But I do think it's really stupid that you can't do four as a starting point. There we go. Two, three, ah. Huh. Oh, Dave's got an idea. Let's hear it. Let's go. Maybe I should start in the middle. Like over here. In the center of this piece. And then come down this way towards the path. That's just slightly too long, that section. That's fine. We can shorten you. At the upper floor of the elephant house, you could make a cafeteria or a restaurant. Ah, that's a good, that is actually a very good idea. That is a very good idea. I don't know why I did that really annoying sound there. Sorry about that. 
That's <laughs> such a weird thing to do. Um, yeah, no, I like that idea a lot. I'd say let's do it. If I do that... I'm wondering if I can make... Again, it's, I'd, it's kind of like making it symmetrical, but also not giving a damn. If I do like that as 12... Oh, that does actually work. Ah, but that doesn't, see? But then if I make this side 11... Like that, then that does work. Problem is, I've now got to make these... Was it 10? To match this side again, which it isn't. Hey, Samuel. How are you doing? I could just do 20. That would have worked. Or we could do... I'm trying to find out what the half... So it's not 15. That looks like it's 32 meters. So if we did it at 16... Okay, didn't quite, didn't quite work out. If we do it at 17. Okay, that's close enough. I'd say that's fine. Right, I've got to do this side now, which was what, 12 and then 11 again? So from here, it came up. Are you telling me I can't build out from there now? Okay, hang on. If I remove you. There we go. 12. And then... 11, right? There we are. And then was it 17? On this side? It was, but this side can actually be a different length. This side could probably be 18. Just to make sure it, it reaches... There we go. And then from here, it'll bump back down to like 17. Although I think here, I'm going to remove that piece. I'm going to add this piece back in. And then I'm going to remove that piece. Let's do like a really short piece here. So let's say... What's the gap from here to the walls? 13? 12? Okay. Okay. So let's do two sixes. Like that. And then I'm going to remove that piece. And that's how they're going to get between enclosures. And I might put I might put a decorative wall in here rather than a functional one. Just for the sake of being different. I've also lost uh, the gate here. I forgot about that. I have no idea what I'm doing at this point. I think I'm just building straight out. Maybe if I come out at an angle. Hmm. So where's the entrance going to be? It's going to kind of wrap around this way and go in. I might have another... Ugh, I can't because of meerkats. I might have another entrance there. I don't know. If you could do like one-way systems, that would be great. I'm just thinking about if I build this, then the uh, the safari ride should fit through the gap. I'm going to kind of redesign the elephant enclosure a little bit based on that. I'm going to kind of build it like this. Which is probably, again, way too big. I don't know though. The one at Whipsnade's pretty big. Kind of like this, and then just run it back this way straight. What do you reckon? Is that too big, do you think, or is that about right? Let's see how big it is. If I put a. Uh a gate 
I might do what I did before. Stick the gate on this side. Might redesign the building slightly to fit that little piece in there. Or just put a doorway on this bit of the wall, maybe. Let's test that out first. Oh, that's not going to fit there, is it? Okay, hang on. Can I exit this? Okay. Habitat 17. How big are you? Oh, you're, yeah, you're way too big. You are way too big. So we're going to redo this. Where's the um, the corner? The corner's there. And then we're going to redraw all of this. There we go. So I don't think, I think 17 is too big for, or 15 is too big for the pieces here. I think we could do it as 10. So also, I think having the safari ride going in right outside the habitat like the actual elephant house is a bit stupid. So I'm going to not do that. And I think something like this. I know it's all straight lines and stuff, but I reckon... I reckon something like this. Oops. Actually, yeah, no, that's fine. What do you reckon, guys? A bit better? Or have I just made the same mistake? Knowing me, I've probably just made the same mistake. I mean, that would work if it wasn't for that piece. Come on, there we go. Edit barrier. We'll just finish it off like that. Okay. How big is that now? Oh, you need a... Uh, I think as well just for simplicity. So I want the keepers to get in via... What's happened here? How weird. I want the keepers to be able to get in via the elephant house. So I think I'm going to remove this bit. And put the door in. Here if I can. Right. How big is this now? This is 11,000. And I needed it to be... Was it 8,000? For four adults. So a way to cut down on the size again would be to remove maybe this bit and just have it come straight along. But I kind of did that because I imagined something else going in here. We could just leave it like this, to be honest. We could just leave it like this. This is absolutely fine. Okay. Edit barrier. Select all. First thing we're going to do is bump it up to 4 meters. There you go, 403, it's close enough. Then we're going to get this piece right the way over to this piece. And we're going to make all this glass. Now this bit over here is a bit weird. I don't know what's happened there. I think it's because this bottom bit is slightly below the ground. But then this, all of this bit is as well. So I don't actually, yeah. Genuinely, oops. Did not mean to do that. Yeah, this piece as well, I'm going to lift up. Or am I? No, I'm not. I'm actually going to leave that like that. That's fine. Okay. And then all of this piece... From here, right the way over to 
I'm going to say here is going to be mesh. Cool. And then the airlock is going to go here. First one. And the second one is going to go over here. And we're going to go right through the middle of the elephants. That's my plan. I'm sticking with it. Are you actually underground? It actually is. Okay, how's that happen? Whoops. Dave, help. What's happened here? Why is this underground? How do I lift it up? Why has it done that? Is it because of where I started building? I bet it's because of where I started building it from. How do I fix that now then? Because that's, that's not what I want. You can't move an enclosure. So how on earth... There's that, which is doing something, but I don't know what. Hang on, I think it's because... Uh, flat top, editable bottom, yeah. Hmm. So something else I've just noticed, which I might be able to do from here. Or maybe not. I saw it just now. It was like straight section, curved section. Now I can't find it. Okay. Uh, yeah, this has not gone to plan. That is completely the wrong height. You can see it just by looking at it. You can see that's the wrong height. But I don't know how to get it to the right height. If anyone's watching who can uh, help me out with this, let me know. Because the terrain does its usual thing of once you've like placed something, you can't adjust the terrain around it. Oh my god, what happened to the camera there? And I can't connect this track up. because it's intersecting terrain. And I could turn off terrain clipping, but that still won't fix it. It'll still look stupid. Please don't tell me I've got to redo this habitat again. Uh, I think I am going to have to do it again. I'm just going to have to pick a point somewhere in this building. Is Dave still here? Uh, where do I see there? Hmm. I think I'm on my own. Try and fight my way through this problem. Hmm. Okay. Edit barrier. Select all. Delete. And then select all, delete, select all, delete. That's very frustrating. How close can I get this to the path? There. That's perfect, right? So if I just do 10 meter sections, And if we go along this way, that takes us through the wall. That's fine. Now here, we should be at ground level. And it looks like we are. I'm not 100% convinced, but it seems like we are. And then this way. It's just that bit there. 
So it's what, one, two, three, four, and then that section. So I think if I bring this back, maybe like take it down to seven, and then back up to 10. Like so, and then down this way. Okay, that might have fixed it. Uh, bring this to like five. There you go, to get through the wall. And then here. So at this point, we want it to basically go out this way. That's fine. That can be straight. This side, I do want it to curve. Because that actually looks pretty decent as well. And then we'll curve it this way. Like that. Maybe we just want to have the safari going through the elephants. There's a uh, possibility as well. Come on, there we go. And then, I mean, we could just go around like this, I suppose. That works. I'm getting way too obsessed with curves right now. <laughs> could we could we design it to look like an elephant from above? That's the next thing I'm thinking. I think that's a bit... I think the technical term is overkill. Um... Is that in line? No, 15 might be though. Or 16. Doesn't actually seem to be doing anything there. If I just bump that up to 20. Okay, that's too much. 18. That looks like it could be the right size. And then we'll just connect these up. Oh, I knew it was going to be off. I knew it. As soon as I started coming down here, I was like, it's not going to be the right size, is it? Oh, what are you doing? There. Okay, that's still fine. That still works. No complaints. We'll put the gate in. Like that is... That would work, but I'm going to put it here and hope that connects up okay and then as for the safari maybe like I mean again here would be good but it's too close to the uh, enclosure just build one simple huge enclosure no need to overcomplicate yourself yeah I think you're right I think you're right I think the safari enclosure is going to go over here. Or is it? Maybe there? But then I don't know what this is going to be. Unless I built it. No, because it's facing the wrong. I think it's going to have to go over here. One there, and then the exit. No, that's stupid. Maybe we just skip the elephants. The, uh, the safari doesn't have to go through every enclosure. So I think that's fine. Right, size. 6,000. That's... For what? Three elephants, did we say? I mean, we could get four. We could get four. If we have one male and three females... That, that should be fine. Okay. No complaints. I'm happy with that. I'm going to lift the uh, the wall into position again. And once this is done, I'm never touching this enclosure again. So all of this bit up to, I think, here is going to become mesh. So again, just keep things simple. And then all of this bit, up to and including that bit, is going to be glass. Simple. 
And then pathwise, staff path. Oh, you utter swine. Actually doesn't fit. We could just do this. There you go. If I try and do like a weird curve here just to get this as close as possible. Oh, I mean that works. And then we'll just convert that back. Okay. That works. And then this bit at the back here could be where the stairs go. Possibly. So if I, hang on, if I come back into this, normal path, align to grid, and if we go out from here, like that, oh, I mean, where do we want, the safari is not complete without the elephants, Ah, uh, I mean, I suppose in the future we could extend this straight across and have the safari go through it that way, I don't even know, I mean, can you have a safari ride go through elephants, I've never... I don't think here in the UK there are any like safari parks where you can even drive through the elephants. Never mind, you know, something like Disney. I don't think they go through elephants either. No need to build weird curves. I just wanted to add a bit of operational interest, to be honest. But I think this whole section here can be simplified. I actually can't build curves with this now. There you go. If I just build this like this and then... What am I doing? Like that. Then the safari can go through. Maybe something similar on this side as well. I'll convert this back to steel mesh in a sec. I'm just um, mucking around with this right now. Trying to make it look somewhat interesting. Plus it means I can fit other things in then. Around, um, like in this area we could have another animal enclosure, you know. And after all that, it drops out again. Mm, it's whatever. It's fine. It's fine. I'm fine. We're all fine. Everybody's fine. And then this can all be steel mesh as well. There you go. We might have actually increased the uh, size of the enclosure now. 7,000. We've actually made it smaller. Well, that's fine. Because we're only having four elephants in here anyway. But it does mean we can get our, um, our airlock in now. So maybe if I, do, if I do have this one here. But the other one over here. Hopefully now I can get the track in. Man, I was supposed to get like meerkats, aardvarks, all sorts done today. And I've spent so long messing around with this. If I drive it through like this. Now here's a question as well. It's wide and less complex. Yeah, I don't think there's a, a, any undoing I can do now that's going to bring that back sadly. Do I need to use this type of track though for this section? Or are the railings just for like if you have an elevated section of track? Good question. I'm glad I asked it. Oh, no. Not like that. There we go. And then that kind of dictates where our elephant pond is going to be. Which is down this end. I reckon. If we do it like this. I am regretting this enclosure now, like doing it this way. The old one was better. I agree. There we go. We'll smooth that bit out. Don't you worry. So it was like rough shaping I was doing just there. go. I think. So 
So it makes them step over the uh, the track to get to the water. And hopefully they can do that. I was debating where things like... I want to build a lima house here as well. I think that's going to go around... Like, so the hyenas are going to be here. So I think the lima house might be... I don't know. I mean, they could go here. And we could have like a walkthrough lima exhibit as well. What do we want? Just calm water, don't we? Don't want it to be stupid. There we go. Does that work? Any higher is obstructed. So yeah, I guess it's going to be this. 1,046 square meters. They needed, what was it, 200 and something? The elephants? 148 meters squared. And they've got more than that. But if we bump this up to 4, 370, 4,000 in total. I think this is fine. Uh, yeah, I probably, I probably could download it from Steam. Some of them I will. Definitely, but some of them I kind of want to do it myself, like make my own mistakes, you know. I'm really tempted to build like an elephant bridge. Like if I was to... Oh, hang on. Is it not letting me do it because I put water in here? How do I remove water? There you go. Yeah, it's because I had water in there. Um, and have like a bridge going over the water here. I think that would be cool. You can make it thematic. We're not going to like flood the whole enclosure, obviously. Maybe the hippos first. So the hippos... There's a lake in the centre of our park, which I'm going to expand. Make it a little bit bigger. There's going to be boats and stuff in there. I think the hippos... So say this path followed the slope round this way. I think it would... Like, the hippos would be here and then they would go down to the water's edge. Along with the flamingos and the, I'm assuming they're lizards. The um, the one you mentioned earlier. That's, again, that's my plan. Might not end up being that way, but that's what I would like to happen. Right, how high can I get this? That's pretty high. Any higher and it's obstructed. I'm actually kind of happy with that. That looks fine. We'll, uh, we'll paint the terrain and stuff in a second as well. I think at this point, I just want to get an elephant in. <laughs> then we can actually look and see how we're looking. Before I do that, though, I do also want to place... Um... I mean, we could split this into three. Put two fences down here. I don't know if I want to mess around with that right now, though. I think right now I just want to do habitat. So I want beds and shelters... And we want to go with species and elephant. And then whatever we do at this point, it's all for the elephant. African rainforest is a good one. So we could have a lima house that's also a rainforest. That's not a bad idea. This is really big, isn't it, for four elephants? I'm going to have to look up how big the elephants are in this game. But this, this everything here just feels huge. And I'm not putting shelters in, because that's stupid. Because that's what the elephant house is for. Don't forget the trees, the rocks, and the grass. That's true. That's something I want to go over and do elsewhere, actually, is add some rock work in. Like, these habitats I kind of want, especially at the cheetahs, I want to hide it. Like, build a little cave kind of thing for them to, um, to snuggle away in. Alright, let's place some random... Some random, like, bedding and stuff. I kind of want to... I need to decorate this floor a little bit better. And again, I'm, I'm going with the idea that there's going to be walls there and there. And I might just do them as walls of the building. Do, do, alif uh, do animals walk through scenery pieces? I'm hoping not. Let's put one of these here. And then the food one can go 
probably in this corner. Oh. Does terrain. Okay, the food one's going to go outside then. That's fine. Um, now, what I've done here is put these in a place where... I mean, I could put it over here, I suppose. Where I can't actually place anything here now, which is fun. Enrichment items. So we're going to throw some tires down for sure. One there, one there. Rolling feeder. So that would be good to go over here as well. Maybe I'll make these bits mesh as well. I think I will place this here. I'm going to have to come in and smooth the train a little bit. The ball. Go there. The barrel feeder. Now that's something that I think should go indoors. But I don't want it to flatten the terrain. Which that one won't. Oh, beaver pool. Hello. Do the elephants use this? Apparently. I'm going to place it over near the back. How much coverage do elephants like? Like, how many trees and stuff am I expecting to place down here? I kind of want this down here, but it's going to affect the terrain again, isn't it? Ah, oh, no, that's, that's actually worked out kind of well. Gyro enrichment. Can I fix you to the wall? somewhere. Oh, you actually go this way. I think. That looks like it's just floating, though. I don't like that. I'm going to remove that one. Tree scatter feeder. We'll stick that just here for now. And a mud bath, which... I would love to place over there, but I'm not able to. So I suppose... Don't forget, people on the safari need to see these as well. Okay. Let's go with that. And then nature... So yeah, how much coverage do I need to put in for um we got theme African Uh what's this? Hang on. Reset filters. Continent, that's what I need. Africa. That's what I needed. So do you know what? Before I do anything else, I'm gonna get some elephants. And then we're going to see what it is they actually want. How long have I been going for? An hour and a half. Wow. It actually feels like longer than that. That's not bad. I did promise the missus that I would have some uh, some time with her tonight. So we are going to wrap up soon. Animal market. Reset filters. We want elephant. I'm going to try and go for... for... So what was it? I said one male and... Two females? Three females? So how good are you? You're really not that good. But then you're older. What 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 am I looking for when I adopt an animal? I'm assuming I'm not getting good animals right now because my zoo rating isn't great. One male and three females should be enough. Okay. So we could go with Salim. I think... Natifa here has to be a given. And Aquila. She's not bad. She's not bad. So I think we'll go with her too. So it's going to be Yafiu or Salim. Size isn't good. Longevity isn't good. But you are younger than Yafiu. Hmm. Let's notice like the dead space. If I sit up straight, 
it's fine. But when I slouch down like that, the dead space above my head is insane. Longevity is important. Yeah, I don't want them to keel over. I think it's going to be... Yeah, for you. Okay. So we've got two females and a male. Let's get them in. No path. Oh, idiot. I haven't actually connected up the elephant house yet. <laughs> I was about to say, like, what do you mean no path? There we go. So I'm going to build, like, another little plaza thing around here. Obviously, we're not going to let people walk on the uh, the ride track here. We'll move that out of the way. Or we'll build a fence or something. Fences are, fences are good. We'll build a fence. Let's do something like this, and then we'll also just, for quickness sake, we'll do that as well. Okay, can I get to my, oops, animal storage, there we go. Alright, three elephants incoming. I need to unpause the game. And then we're going to find out that they hate the zoo. They're all unhappy. The protesters are going to arrive. The inspector's going to come in. We're going to fail the inspection. And then we're going to get closed down. That tends to be what happens, isn't it? Also need to rename this elephants. Uh, African elephants. African savannah elephants, to be more precise. But And then this is the African... Elephant house. Yeah. So we've got sprinklers. Do these need power or is it just water? We are going to put some amenities down here as well, like power and, and um, water. And literally, I've just named those things twice. But yeah, we're going to put power and water down here as well. No worries about that. Uh, and I also want to place... these walls so if I do that and then spin it round and then do the same thing on this side This bit here I'm going to remove as um, glass. We're going to make it different. Is that even English at that point? I don't know. We're going to make this a little walkway for the elephants. Like so. Um, but I am going to cap. duplicate this as well and we'll place like that and then exit this the elephants have arrived yay check that out in a second this bit here no glass there we are sweet so actually yeah the the elephant house is massive for the um for the elephants that we've got. Once we get another female, it'll be a slightly different story, I imagine. But, yeah, for now, not the best. So, terrain. You need hard shelter. So, we need less long grass, more soil. More short grass as well. Uh, I think the... Oops. I think the hard shelter problem is because we don't have a roof right now. I'm hoping that's the reason. So, plants, you're okay with plants and you're okay with coverage. We will do some rock work and stuff, though. But yeah, we need less long grass and we need more soil. So, first of all, we're going to paint the, um, the, the pond here. Because that's immediately going to get us soil boost there 
There we go. So we've got more soil now. Um, but we are going to come through. So this whole area here can be soil. There we go. And all this bit as well. So the light soil. I think I'm going to paint the, uh, the trackway again. Like I've done everywhere else. Like so. Just had to crack my jaw there. That was, I've done a lot of talking today. I think it's starting to catch up with me. Okay. Still need more soil. How much soil do you, actually, we could throw some rock in as well, to be honest. Just need to get the grass down. So, like, this bit over here could be rock. Maybe not. Like rough rock, do smooth rock. Might do a little bit of terraforming. Actually, if I hang on, if I make this bit soil still, I might do a little bit of like terraforming in the center here. Because do they need? Do they need sloped land at all? Is there a way to check that? Environment, plants coverage. That's fine. Enrichment, yeah, you're more than happy. So it's just hard shelter. You've got your water, navigable swimming areas, which, yeah, you can step over the track to get to that, so that's fine. Oh, you've got too much soil now. And not enough short grass. So we'll fix that. Aha, all green. Perfect. I'm going to go a little bit longer. Just to get the short grass up ahead of the long grass. Kind of like this. I do small patches of long grass around. But otherwise, this is pretty damn good if I do say so myself. And then as for the long grass here, we'll do like a patch here, patch here, patch here, a little bit over there. Okay, so if I was to put rocks and stuff in now, how would I go about... Actually, before I do that, I'm going to put a a temporary roof on top of this. And then we'll come back and build a proper roof later on. Um, let's do it this way. How do I get it? It's got to be like this. Oh, I need to... Oh, no, that's not it. I don't like the fact I'm lifting this up and down. I guess there. Okay. Spin you round. There we go. Yeah, we'll come back. So this might even be the, the the roof still. And then we'll put a proper roof on top at a later date. Like, even with the proper roof, this will still be underneath it as like a, um, I don't know, weatherproofing or something. And then we'll build something a bit more grand on top. It's a bit boring. I know. It could be better. But it is what it is. There's probably much better ways of doing this roof as well. In fact, there are. You do this and you hit duplicate. Just like that. And then you select all of these. And you hit duplicate again. Like so, and you hit duplicate, and then you go there, 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 and all the way down. And I'm going to do this, and then just come through and delete that bit, and then place what's the right one? Something tells me it's this one, but it's not. It's that one. 
Right, just to check. Are you now happy? Huh. Is it because you're paused? There we go. It's because it was paused. So yeah, the elephant house is complete for now. We will obviously come back and do some more. And we got to add the uh, the upper story. And to be honest, this bit here, find a way to decorate this and make it look nicer as well. But for now, I think for a first attempt at something like this, I'd say it's, it's not bad going. It's not bad going. I do want to add a few more little bits and pieces. So what was it? Savannah, isn't it? What's a dynamic mossy rock? What's the difference between that and just a mossy rock? Don't know. Oh, about to have more offspring arrive. What am I looking for? Red desert. Is there a savannah? Yeah, savannah rock. Perfect. So I want to build like a little rock thing outside the elephant house here. So I'm just going to place some random rocks down. Nice. That's a good size. Stick that one there, which means I want to move this one. Have I got random rotation on for these as well? I hope so. That'd be cool. Oh, lost it. If I just go Savannah. There we are. I'm I'm uh, I'm liking this. I think it's starting to look cool. We'll put a little bit of rock work here as well just to hide it. Hopefully the elephants can't climb this. That'd be awkward, wouldn't it? Turn around as an elephant just climbing the rocks. There we go. And this bit here as well, to be honest, I want to kind of hide as well. Without it just looking like I've placed some... Uh... Oh, there you go. That is actual cladding. I might do that all the way along here, actually. What's... Oh, I'll put that one down here, actually. Whoops. Like so. And then we'll go with this one again. And then this one, just to fill that little gap. And then we'll just put some um, small ones down along the ground here. Just to uh, to hide the seams. Not bad. Not bad. This little uh, rock sculpture is terrible. So we're going to try that again. didn't help that I didn't know what any of these actually looked like before I placed them down. So we're going to start again. So we're going to put this one here. And then we're going to pile them up around it, basically. So you need to be rotated. That's a good place for it. And then this one can go there. I think that's a happy elephant. It's hard to tell. It's actually very hard to tell. <laughs> I'm going to go out on a limb and say that that's a happy elephant. There we go. Uh, so we're not going to have time to do meerkats now this week. But we'll come back and do those next week. But otherwise, I've, uh, I've enjoyed this stream. I think it's been pretty successful. Can I fit you there? Maybe with a little bit of repositioning. Something like that. Make sure they don't walk through the rock. Oh, just decapitated himself. Lovely. Love it when the guests do that. So much fun. This is my way of disguising this bridge as well, which there's probably better ways of doing it, but I'm going to stick with this plan. For now, at least. Uh, you can sit there. 
You can kind of see the uh, the idea I've gone with here. Oh, hang on. That looked good. There. Yeah, that's awesome. Let's do it like that. Can I change this one then? Not quite what I had in mind, but I'm going to do that for now. And then we're going to grab it and we're going to rotate it uh, that way. I guess, like this, bring it round this way a little bit. Maybe like this. I could do it this way, actually. If I did it like that. And then we'll shift it. Like this. Yeah, let's go with that. And then we'll place some small ones at the base. Like that. And then at this end. Maybe not that size. But something a bit like this. That's not bad. So these are savannah elephants, aren't they? So this... this this fits the theme perfectly. Okay. This might be something I have to do a little bit more of off camera. Just to make it look pretty. But that's not a bad start. Just to hide this bridge a little bit more. I just kind of want to see what else I can do with this. Like if I place this one on this side. hides that bit nicely. Don't forget that we're going to have meerkats running around this little section, so we don't want to completely hide it. Um, we might even be able to put a meerkat habitat underneath this. I don't know if that's... Uh, it's probably not going to work. Might just end up hiding this still. Where are the other... Like, I wish it would say what size they are, rather than just... A number, you know? Where are we at? There we are. And then we'll shuffle that. That's not the right one. That's the right one. I can hear the elephants. I hope they're happy. I really do. I love elephants. They're such beautiful animals. So I hope they're happy. We'll check in a sec. He is making a lot of noise. Doesn't make me a little nervous. There we go. We're doing we're doing alright. It's not connected to a terrain, that's fine. Doesn't need to be whoops, wrong one. If I could plug some more of these gaps, that would be great. Shove you there. Oh, can I do that one? bit random but again jagged rock fits the bill fits the bill all right I would say yeah, it really doesn't sound like a happy elephant does it there we go and then we can put some I can't remember how tall the uh, safari ride is but I think I think it should get under that one okay and then maybe if I I could do it like this, I suppose. On that side. Ah, it looks way too uniform. It's got to lift it enough to get the, uh, the vehicles underneath. I think that. I think that's fine. Like, it's going to look like... From the ride, at least, it's going to look like it's just a pathway that's being covered. It's when you're on the path, when you're moving at, uh, you know, walking speed. That's where I need it to, to have the effect of making it look like you're on a rock bridge kind of thing. I like this, though. I like it. I think it's a good place to end the stream, to be honest. 
Our elephants are in are in their uh, habitat. There we go. They seem happy. You seem happy, don't you? You got good enrichment. Is it gonna go for a swim? He? She? They? He. I might actually look just to see if we can get our um, our last female. So we got Eben, uh, Eben, or a minor. I think we're gonna go for a minor, but then let's actually do a comparison. You've got much better longevity. Plus, we can spend some conservation credits, which means we can release you into the wild as well. Fertility and immunity not great, but I'm going to go with it. I'm going to go with it. Uh, where's move to zoo? Send to zoo. There we go. I'm also going to give them contraceptives because I don't want them to breed. Oh, he's in the water. Hang on. That's a screenshot if ever I saw one. Da, da, da. Zoom in. Look at that. Oh, they've actually got water lines as well. Depending on how deep they've gone. That's so cool. There we go. Just going to snap screenshots till, uh, till my heart's content now. You going to go for a dip as well? He patronisingly said to a fictional elephant. But there we go. Good evening, George. You've, you've come in just at the end of the stream, I'm afraid. But... Don't worry, we will be back next week with some more Planet Zoo as Wild Realms continues to grow. This is our progress tonight, and this is our progress so far. So we've got the cheetahs, we've got the zebras, the ostriches, the water buffalo, the giraffes, and the other thing. Uh, rhinos over here, and then we've got the Gemsbok in this little bit. Over here in the exhibits... We've got uh, Puff Adders and Goliath Beetles, which is, that's empty. Why is that empty? Did they all die? Okay, we're going to have to do something about that because didn't do a very good job with that. Uh, then, yeah, we've got the Gemsbok and today we built the Elephant House, which does need a name, actually, because Elephant House is a little bit of a boring name. So we do need to name it. And a protest has been spotted, which is just great. Um, but yeah, this is this is where we're at now, and I'm very very happy with the uh, the state of the zoo. That is a sight to behold. I say, where's its eye? It's there. <laughs> I can see it. I'm 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 fine, honestly, guys. I'm fine. But yeah, this is a good place to wrap things up. So thank you very much for watching. Thank you uh, to George, to Tom, to Samuel, and to Dave in the chat. Did I miss anyone out? I don't think I did. Oh, and Laura as well, of course. My little helper at the start there, checking the audio and everything for me. I should I should at this point say Laura is my partner. That is who I'm talking about when I say the misses and things like that. So um, thank you very much, everybody, for taking part in the chat. Keeping me company for the last couple of hours. Yep, it has been two hours, so I'm probably going to be in trouble for that. But that's fine. Oh, little click in the ear as well. What was that? That was a new subscriber. I'm hoping... Yeah, Neil Gadsby on YouTube with the subscribe. Thank you very much, Neil. Welcome to uh, M4J. Uh, oh, and... Oh, no, that was 20 days ago. Never mind. Just had a bit of a blonde senior moment there. It's all fine. Look at this, though. I'm loving this. They're all going for a swim. Eventually, we'll extend the pathway, the main pathway over here. Down this way. And... Uh, well, I think what we'll do is we'll have the path branch off here and it'll go around and then there'll be another enclosure in this area. Something like... What have we got? African wild... Oh, we could have the giant tortoise in that area. Or we could just build the lima house here and have a pathway that goes all the way around it. That's a possibility as well. If you've got any ideas, let me know in the comments below. But otherwise, yeah, thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit the like button if you enjoyed the video. And of course, if you're enjoying the series, this is on YouTube, of course. And do hit the subscribe button as well. It really helps me out. If you have already subscribed, like Neil just now, thank you very much for your continued support. If you're watching on Twitch, 
be sure to hit the follow button. I believe you can hit the subscribe button as well. Tom does every month, but I don't know if that's a Twitch Prime thing or if that's a, a, um, a Twitch thing in general. Uh, I should probably pause the game at this point because my zoo is spinning out of control. Next week's going to be a lot of like animal welfare stuff as well, like making sure that everyone's happy because right now they're not and it does bother me a little bit. So we're going to do something about that too. But yeah, thanks for watching everyone. Enjoy the rest of your evening. I will see you next week for uh, Planet Zoo next time. That was English. Um, I will see you next week at 6 p.m. UK time. That's what I meant to say for more Planet Zoo. But yeah, thanks again for watching, guys. Take care. And until next time, I will see you soon.